11th hour on Radio Sri Lanka, the program that illustrates the rediscovery of the glitz and the glam of the nation's most prominent entertainers and eminent personalities from the corporate sector. Join us on every Mondays at 11 a.m. exclusively on Radio Sri Lanka, 97.4 and 97.6 FM island-wide. Yet another episode on 11th hour. Yes, we are on 11th hour and we are talking about a very interesting subject line. It's about picks in global education. Studying abroad is a dream envisioned by many students and can be a career changing route map. There are several factors that attention should be paid to before planning the journey towards the completion of a global qualification. Factors to consider before studying overseas should be a matter of concern that requires precise guidance from the experts. Therefore, we have invited a guest who resides in the UK and is currently here in Sri Lanka to speak to us in length with regard to PICS in global education. Our guest today is Helanka Rajapaksa, founder of UK Student Information Centre, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Sabrina, and thank you very much for having me here today. Pleasure is ours. Let's move on with our very first question. The world is brimming with opportunities, but relocating to another country is never an easy process. When a student is on a mission to build a better future to achieve his or her dreams through affordable, top-quality education, why should one consider the UK? What would be the benefits? The United Kingdom is a great place for any student from any country in the world. Um, there are many reasons why the United Kingdom is regarded as one of the best destinations for studying in the uh, studying abroad. Um, I think, uh, uh, as everyone knows, that uh, it, the, the institutions in the United Kingdom are at at a great standard in terms of education. And in addition to that, when a student is going abroad or maybe going to the United Kingdom for their higher education, that means they are investing a lot of money in the education. So I believe that you will definitely get the value for the money that you spend in the UK. Um, the universities are are at a very high standard where they will provide a, a great curriculum that is uh, that is in line with the industrial uh, trends, the current market trends. Not only that, they also do provide extracurricular activities for the students. It could be um, anything from sports activities to um, giving them further knowledge about their particular field that they are studying in the UK. And additionally, most of the universities in the UK are very well recognized around the world. And most of the employers from around the world would definitely recognize a degree from the United Kingdom. And for the students, the um, in addition to the education uh, education sector, they are they are stepping into a world full of opportunities, and. These opportunities could be something that a student from Sri Lanka or India may not have access while they are in their own countries. Mm. Because um, the United Kingdom, um, in addition to the great infra infrastructure available there, but the um, environment in terms of a commercial environment, or maybe the, if it's healthcare sector, the environment to the healthcare sector, it's with uh, it's at a, it's at great standards with uh, you know uh, because the the thing is in the United Kingdom, they embrace the mm. current uh, current change with its um, whether it's a technological development or whether it's new business They rapidly concept. connect. That's what it you're does, trying yeah. to say. Right. Um, so with that, the students... The students' exposure um, is something that the exposure that they get in the United Kingdom is something I don't think you will get it anywhere else uh, in comparison to other countries. But obviously, you get the United States. Of it's at a dif different level, but. Um, 
And also, the, in terms of security, I think uh, any student can expect uh, United Kingdom to be very secured for an international student. Um, because Especially since we come from a particular culture where we always think twice, thrice about safety. Yes. So that is what you're trying to emphasize yes, here. Yes, that is right. Right. So there's quite a lot of interesting opportunities that awaits for a candidate who would uh, seek for opportunities in the UK. Right. Moving on to my second question. Completing your final semesters abroad will help you secure a job after graduation and potentially with massive industrial exposure. Please share your perspectives with regard to the same. Yes, 100%. Every student will have the same opportunity in terms of getting a very good job in the United Kingdom. It's a big country. You will get uh, you will get uh, opportunities at every level, whether it's with a startup company or a small scale, medium scale to large corporations. United Kingdom is home for many international um, big companies. Um, so the students will have such a such a wide um, options, you know, a variation of options in terms of selecting a job opportunity for them. And um, the best thing about studying in the UK is that the universities are welcoming the international students because as a government, the United Kingdom is trying to retain the highly skilled people in the United Kingdom. And these universities are the stepping stone in terms of filtering that process because the universities are also helping and encouraging the students to find the employment in the country itself. And those who actually are able to find the uh, employment in the United Kingdom, they definitely have the chance to move forward um, and set from settling down in the United Kingdom to getting best opportunities that is available in the UK. So industry-wise, I do believe if a student does whatever that they are supposed to do while they are in the UK with the, you know, it, it's all about studying and also making sure that you are making use of all the resources available in the United Kingdom because it's not just education, but no matter where you go, uh, even if you do a part-time job at, a, uh, you know, at McDonald's, there is a lot of things that you can learn from there because you are exposed to a very highly commercialized environment and the people you meet, there is a lot you can can learn from them to understand their standards of living to everything. I mean, this is the kind of uh, exposure anyway any student would obtain yeah. being based in any part of the globe, isn't it? Because uh, every country has a different kind of an offering that they would definitely uh, cater to. Yes. So I think that exposure will be definitely uh, willingly taken in by the candidates who migrate. Who migrate, that is right, yeah. With the right kind of guidance in obtaining the most accurate information with regard to study abroad options, you would be certainly one step closer to reaching a dream destination to complete one's education. How can one be certain with regard to whether the information that they receive are accurate and factual? It's actually very easy to obtain um, factual information because there is a lot of information available on online resources. The United Kingdom, the UK VI, the UK visas and immigration have uh, um, have published uh, all the necessary information in terms of visas, and the universities are doing a great job by updating the information um, as they go. I mean, ac according to the according to the current needs. So they do publish a lot of information. In addition to that, when a, uni when a student makes an application to a university, they always have the opportunity to contact the university's different uh, departments. It could be the student hub or it could be the visa compliance to get the information that's needed. But I think where the students are finding it difficult to uh, get right information is when deciding which university, which course is the best fit for myself. At the time, I think uh, it's definitely um, um, at discretion of the uni um, student in terms of selecting the right path, where to go and how to gather this information. 
there is so many various avenues of uh, um, um, communication that's available um, in in any country. It could be an education agent, or it could be the British Council, or it could be, um, you know, just online resources. I think the students have to be mindful in terms of selecting the right avenue where to get the right information. That. Of course, um, is not something you know. You can tell somebody you go go to this place or do it this way. It has to be something that should come within them, because the student should understand. If I if I do this course, I mean, you know, there are there are times that uh, other third parties can suggest universities and courses for mm-hmm. yourself. But at the time, the student has to be mindful in trying to understand whether this particular course or the university will it be helpful for my career, or is the the career that I am expecting to, or maybe the um, the my career ambition, is it something that I can achieve if I do this particular course? I have had many occasions where um, students had done irrelevant courses. They have chosen a university maybe wouldn't have been the perfect um, option for them. At a time like that, a student will suffer when they go um, to the United Kingdom because in case if they can't complete the course, uh, you know, their next uh, the next uh, options that they may have will be hindered because you can't find a job. If you do not complete the job, you will um, complete the course. If you, you will not get the access to the graduate route visa where you will get the two-year work permit, so I think it's very important any student try and understand no matter what information they gather from other parties, they have to do their due diligence and decide whether this course and this university will help me to reach my next target or or maybe whether it will help you to go to the next stage of your life. So the professional and uh, professional development, academic knowledge, uh, enhancing your academic knowledge, all these things will definitely come through the course and the university. I have a question. Does the universities uh, tend to understand? Sometimes we can pick a particular course Mm -hmm. and we feel that that is not the line of uh, education that we would like to end up uh, continuing on. Yes. So does the universities or colleges have the flexibility to understand the students' uh, point of view and give them an opportunity with another stream of education? Does that happen? Um, unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way because the reason is, Sabrina, the, when we are an international student, we are going there on a visa. So the university is bound to um, uh, obey the UKVI policy guidance as well. Ideally, the UKVI expects a genuine student uh, to to know what they want in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they believe that the student is doing a you know, doing a thorough research before they come to the United Kingdom so that they are well aware of uh, whatever, you know, the education that they will get in the UK. They are well aware of the opportunities that they may have access to and Obviously, that they do have the right uh, financial credibility to go and study in the UK. So the UKVI makes sure that they have all, you know, you tick all these boxes. So changing a course is very difficult in the United Kingdom. But um, there are times that if the course length and the, uh, the, the course is in the, you know, like the one that you want to change is in the similar field, university might consider if it does not make any big impact on the visa that they already they have. Be issued. Yes. Right. So these are right. Would be my final question. Being an international student is an unique identity. Studying at a well-known prestigious university will really stand out when you print it out on your particular CV. What sort of areas of concern should one think about prior to choosing a study course? Right. Um, as I always tell everyone, it has to be the course that is going to complement your previous education and also that is going to help you to 
achieve your next career ambition or, or career goal. Now, some students do change their path or maybe the field of study. It's not a problem. But what we what a student will have to be mindful is whether it is going to help you for your professional development whether it's going to help you to achieve your next career goal some students do migrate to different countries i mean it's not specifically the united kingdom any country for that with, matter true yes without knowing what they want or maybe what they are expecting out of this course you you cannot just migrate for the sake of migrating it's if you are to add value to your portfolio or maybe if you are to add value just as you said you know on your cv it says you have achieved this course and you should know that this course is going to help your career development if not i don't think it's worth because in the united kingdom they will not evaluate uh, any employer in the uk or in in glo you know in the uh, around in the world of the globe True. yes um they will not evaluate a person just based on the um, degree qualification that they gain in that particular country they look at many other things many other elements of a, a student whether they have had enough experience in a particular field um, whether they have the right personality or the skills um, they do they possess all of these things will make a big impact in getting into employment in any country i believe so a student should understand you know just migrating to any country um uh, some people do migrate thinking you know i will get a better li- better st- living standards Standard. my family or my children will get better um education well, in the uk i don't think none of that matter if you the main applicant or the person who's going for their um, higher education if they don't know how to maneuver this mm. uh, uh, this education qualification and their previous experience their personality their skills in the right direction to get what they want if not sabrina you will end up in a lot of financial stress when you go to a country like that um you will end up in a lot of issues with their children because you know it it has a lot of other things involved adding on adding on yes so any cv i mean a cv will definitely look great with uh, with a uh, education qualification from a um a developed country or from from a western true. university true but you need to know how you are going to maneuver this it's definitely not just the academic qualification or it may not even be not just the university because some some tend to think if i go that. to a True. high ranked university i will get a good job it's never that way it's everything in one plate you have to make sure you are the right candidate for mm. any job or for any employer and you have to present yourself so this uh, gaining these skills knowledge and uh, attributes it's a process mm. if you are involved in that education pro- uh, that uni- with the university with whatever the course of study that you are studying you will automatically gain these things um how to present yourself how to create a good cv because universities are helpful as i said uh, from the beginning they will they, they will, groom you yes they groom you um to to make sure that you are employed a corporate leader and all this yeah very interesting conversation of course yes and uh, with the time factor of course yes we have to wrap up the conversation identifying your interests through a global educational platform for a career aspiration will assist you in making a tailored decision this will also help you discover what course aligns with your goals and supports your interests and once done in this manner you will not only apply for random courses with a state of being confused and unguided so we were engaged with a very interesting conversation with our guest today that is helanka rajapaksa who's here from the uk to discuss more in detail with regard to picks in global education thank you so much for connecting with 11th hour thank you sabrina thank you for having me